Seems that Jill has shaken her pursuer, but her foe had proven to be astonishingly tenacious. Pursued to the rooftops of a building primed for demolition, she was left with no choice but to face it head on. Alright, welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Remake. So, uh, yeah, right now we're at a kendo shop. Got his key to the gate outside uh, in the alleyway. Also, holy crap, we got a lot of gunpowder. But we're not going to worry about uh, using it up at the moment. Oh, actually, now I think about it. Let's move this over there, and can stick this right there, why not? Okay, that sticks out a lot. Yeah, that's better. Much better looking. Alright. So. Um, where do we go? Where do we go now? Oh yeah, that's right, there were some items around here. Wait, that wasn't there. A semi-auto barrel for the shotgun. Oh, awesome. Custom part for the MG... Why do I keep saying that? M3 shotgun. Designed for semi-auto fire. Also, more rapid firing while reduced spread for greater power. Neat. Actually, I need to... No? Yeah, that would... That should work. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Okay, so now it's a uh, two slaughter. Alright then. I messed up my whole organization. Oh well though. It's all good. Okay. Man, they are like really outfitting you like super duper quick. Which again kind of worries me because I think this game might be really fucking short. Which will be fine if, you know, if what's here is good. The game's length won't really matter if the game itself is actually really fun to play, you know? But, we'll see. Like I said, the game itself so far has been pretty fun. Uh. It's got some cool moments, but, you know, being able to replay it multiple times or something like that, I don't know. Alright, of course you're going to come to life. Hey, what is that bound to? It's not bound at all. Why is it not bound? Let's get out of here. Oh, hello. Oh, that's BS. Jesus. That thing is still alive. I, I think. Alright, how about we just run? Wow, I'm already in danger. That's great. Well, I guess time to use this then. Here one of those. Alright, good. Jesus. His face is all torn up. Yeah, you can tell they definitely improved on the uh, dismemberment. I mean, the dismemberment was actually really good in Resident Evil 2. Well, grotesque, I should say, I guess. But, uh, seems like more... They get gibbed up a little bit more, I guess. Hello? More reading. Raccoon Times Reader's Column. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I'm troubled. Deeply troubled. 
anyone who's been a parent knows what that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a, sh uh, for a trip down downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or harder for, on a parent's wallet than Toys Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like it's the only like the only thing holding it up is a few screws. The statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day. Children will be hurt badly. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he still isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to just wait for a depot accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers to take the down or to take that death trap down. Timothy Wales, 69. Hmm, okay, so that's something to note later. If we go back to the little Mega Man store, uh, look up. Oh, sweet, more explosive rounds. And we got more uses for the lockpick, okay. I guess it's kind of a uh, slight homage to the first game that they give you a lockpick in general, because, uh, I mean, you get a lockpick in the first game and you're able to open, like, almost half the doors that you would, uh, normally wouldn't be able to as Chris, uh, for Resident Evil 1. What the hell? Oh my god, that thing is huge! What the hell? Woo! Wait, how did you fire a rocket at me before I was... Monster? Uh, never mind. Oh, lord. I stole the fucking Hydra. Excuse me, sir. Oh! Excuse me, sir. This ain't cool. Ah, oh my god, what are you made of, Jill? Seriously. Come on. Give a little. No. Woo. Woo. Come on. Come on. A little closer. Ah! Oh, shit. Alright, you know what? Skirt. Yeah. Good thing this has, like, no splash damage. Whoa. I was trying to get that electricity box, but I just couldn't get him to get close. Jill, you okay? Carlos, that monster's Not really. I got shot Are by you a rocket. Me? I thought you killed him. Uh, me clearly too. not. <laughs> Jill, you are some sort of badass today. Jesus Christ. I guess you always were, but this is on a new level. Oh, sweet first aid spray. Everything is on fire now. Well, crap, does that mean I can't go back to these places later? Oh. Never mind. What the hell do I. For some reason in my mind, I thought I could 
<laughs> Perfect dodge it. <laughs> that didn't go very well. <laughs> Well, I guess, uh, they were just wanting to warn you that the head will roll onto you then. <laughs> they want to explain everything before it happens. It's very, very odd. At least it makes sense, I guess. About to be Indiana Jones here in a second. You watch out. Dun, 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 dun
Mann. Right. Oh God. Is that plastic explosives? It's not after. You're a sack of shit. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Nikola. Oh my god. Oh shit. Get off my train. Shit, bird. So far, this is very different from been a while. original. Subway's got to be clear. The original the game. Now. Along with your hot date? Nah, she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. So I guess we're playing as Carlos? Hope so. Yeah. Right. Awesome. On Romeo. This is the police station. Are you sure? Oh, Looks we're like back here. Center. We're, um... Where Claire was starting off. Okay. But yeah, so far this is very, very different. Like I said, I didn't beat the game, but Brad, stop! T even up to this point it has been very, very different. Come What's on, going man. on? Not you too. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Oh shit. Oh my god. So it was Brad that bit him. Oh my god. Shit, it's locked. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Come get some. This assault rifle is not very effective. It's open. No unfortunate ends. Defeats on the Brad. Brad Vickers, police, city department. Stars. These stars. That could be useful. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. <sighs> custody? I take thought him this into was custody. a custody. What the hell? Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Huh. We know guy Jill's items. Typewriter still here. I kind of check around here first. Don't bother with the puzzle, guys. You'll be fine. So wait, then if this is the case, that means Leon and Claire are already around here. So then why is everything all covered up? That doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, yeah, it's to tell the player, like, hey, don't, don't mess with any of this stuff. You don't have to worry about it, but... 
I mean, like, canonically, this actually doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you just, I don't know, it'd be better to show that the doors are locked or get the guy to yell at you saying, hey, don't mess with that. That's not where we need what we need to do. Instead of barring up every single door, that just doesn't seem... Now here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. We're here for bars. Yeah, see? Just like that. That's all you need. You don't need to have the door actually barred up, man. I don't know. I I guess I'm just being a little picky, but to me it just doesn't make sense that they would make it like that to me. Because this is, like I said, like, Leon and, Leon would already be walking around here. Claire's, well, uh, somewhere else right now. Still outside the RPD, I think. ID security protocol. September 16th, 1998. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend this card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report to the lost immediately. RPD Facility Maintenance Department. I assume this card. Yeah. Alright, cool. Salt rifle ammo. Okay. What the hell? Oh my god. What the hell was oh, that that's thing? a liquor. That's a liquor. Also. Now hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. Was. Was, was the cop already. Huh. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I think probably the cop was already. Yeah, he was already hurt. I don't know what I'm I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm just being stupid. I'm very sorry. I'm just remembering wrong. For some reason I thought that the cop got hurt after um after a little bit of playing the game, not like right in the beginning. Couldn't have been a zombie. So, so that's what happened to these guys then. Yep. Oh, Jesus, he's still moving. God. I didn't stick around. Uh, here we go. Oh, yep. There's the liquor. Oh, that's a new model. Oh. No! Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, we're good. Huh. So if you can actually shoot them right before they grab you, it kind of stops. Them. Right, big warm RPD welcome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was something I never really did with uh, whenever I was playing in RE2, but it's uh, a lot more in your favor to actually just shoot them while they're down just to make sure they don't get back up. Oh. Huh. Well, that's about...
T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Wait, there was a room I missed? Hold on. What did I miss? There an item I didn't pick up? Ah, okay. Flash grenade. Nice. That'll come in handy. Oh, you're new too. There's actually quite a few new designs. Oh, he actually attacks more like Chris. We're good. There's one on my left. I don't know, it's just me stepping. Shotgun cell. Oh, I know this isn't a shotgun room. <clears throat> What's that? Scope, hello. Custom part for the CQBR assault rifle. Adds sights to allow for more accurate shots. Good. Nice. Something else I'm missing. That's probably an air. Oh lord! And see you. Help me! Ow! Alright, uh, pistol rounds. Oh, never mind. anywhere around here. Well, I assume it's if you remember the code from... Hey, Jojo! <laughs> well, I guess that's fitting considering uh, I kind of made a Jojo reference for my uh, the title of the first part of the of the series. Jill Jill's Diamond is Unbreakable. September 20th. Arrest report. Name Rodney Gray. Occupation unemployed. Former electrician. Charges unlawful creation. Yeah, unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Narrative. Suspect was seen having suspicion. at 1442 Box Street on September 8th, 1998. The suspect's person was ser sorry. The suspect's person was searched producing a small explosive and a time detonator. 
from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on charges listed above. A search of suspect's homes found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and was not sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point questioning had to be haltered due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect was made the following statements. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why wouldn't anyone understand? The corpse is attacked from the shadows. A storm's coming. But this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up. Or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming. Soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During a gosh. There. <clears throat> During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended, ended, and sedative administered. Note: Due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently waiting. The results of the doctor's investigation into the suspect's condition. The explosives collected from the uh, suspect's person and residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device. Upon its admission into evidence, the battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Interrogating Officer Wes Strucker. Look at that. They're making sense of everything. I like that. As you remember there, of course, there was a C4 without a bomb, or without a, a battery. Just kind of around uh, one of the cells. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really remember what the uh, combination was, and I don't think they're going to tell us. But using my mind's eye. I have found the combination. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Confirm. See, you must use your mind's eye whenever you can. It will give you many gracious things. Oh, we can't go for here. Uh, wait, there's another handgun ammo. Where's that? I could use that. Okay, cool. Anything else? Nope. Uh, looks like the door back here is probably where we need to go to. Ah, oh, okay. Shit. Use that shotgun. What? You are still alive. God darn it. Try not to waste ammo here. Get on the ground. Noise. 
Also, I didn't note um, about this, but uh, yeah, they're actually playing the classic, like kind of like a, a rendition of the original Safe Room song, which is pretty cool. Internal memo. September 22nd, 1998. Office Supply Internal Re Collection Notice. Heat resistant. Three number combination safe. Move to the star's office. To second floor to west office first floor. Oh. <laughs> well, that was kind of the safe combination that we were just doing. Eh, uh, well, that's fine. Please change the number combination ASAP once. Uh, palm receipt. Alright then. Sorry about that. That sucks, because now I think about it, I didn't get whatever safe combination I found for Jill. I don't remember ever finding a combination either. Or whatever it was for. Oh well, what can you do? Getting quite a bit of stuff, though. I don't think we need to worry about uh, putting stuff in storage, though. At least not right now. I don't know. I kind of felt like maybe there was something in there, just in case. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Okay, so that's where we're heading. And what's also weird, um, that like another thing that they changed, uh, Jill was the one that went to the star's office. I don't know if Carlos ever went to the star's office afterwards, but in the original game, um, playing as Jill, you actually, oh wow, that's weird. Ooh, dang. But, uh, yeah, uh, with Carlos. Well, in Resident Evil 3, I never played as Carlos yet, like the original Resident Evil 3. So, I don't know what Carlos does or doesn't do or anything. That's a new key. Hello. Looks pretty cool, actually, too. Hold on. No? Okay, we're good. I've... Only reason why I checked again was because I thought that my gun had, like, shot the box that was right next to it. <laughs> oh, that's not the combination. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's got to be this. Mind's eye, once again. Very powerful thing. I'll let you know. What? Wait a minute. Wait a finger like in a minute. What? And there's supposed to be a door here? I'm not crazy, right? Yeah, it's the third floor. There's supposed to be a door right here. That's where, uh. That's where you go in, and that little mannequin's right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, there's not. Because this wall was busted into. I just... Oh, yeah, that's awesome. So I bet that means that Nemesis will probably come through and uh, he'll break the thing open or something. That'd be my guess. Cool. I can't believe I forgot about that. Okay. Well, let's go to the SARS office then. But first, I gotta take a piss. Or, uh, take a shower, my bad. Note to a friend. Hector. Hey. I guess they, uh, added you in there. <laughs> if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from that locker, do not open it, please. While you're out on patrol, I focus on finding a way to the other side. I realize that explosives might be our best bet. Managed to rig up a pretty good bomb. But we don't have any batteries for the detonator. Pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room. 
during the intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock down that wall. So, headed upstairs to find you since I knew you had a civic deposit room key. As soon as I found or as soon as I left the shower room I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out when uh why, but you must not open that locker. Please, don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of there as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. BS. Don't worry about that six or six hundred dollars I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Break the shower room wall. That one's probably Yeah, that's what it was. Alright, flash grenade. Uh I think this is the one that has the body in it. Better not. Never mind. Okay. And where's my little uh, sequence puzzle? A little safety deposit boxes. I like those little things. Yeah, that's right. Huh, so that means I had multiple bombs then. Interesting. Wait a minute, I'm taking it with me? Why would I do that? Or maybe it's to put stick the battery into it, I don't know. Uh, wait, yeah. Okay, yeah, I need to go there, so I need to go... Oh, that's what the key was for, that's right. Oh my lord! There you ah! Yeah! I don't know why I didn't dodge. I mean, to be fair, I could have just probably walked past him after uh, after doing that. But I don't know. I, I was already running, so it was already going to be uh, a little worrisome. Okay. So this time, we're not going to run. Just have to get to the safety deposit. Oh shit. I kind of walk a little faster in this game, so I'm kind of not going to risk it by walking without aiming because it slows you down while doing this. Serious? Well, excuse me, sir. I kind of need to go that way. I would really appreciate it if you'd not display your buttocks towards me. Alright, I guess he's not going to let me through. So... That's what I'll do. Until he turns back around. Firm it from the stairs. Oh, wait a minute. He actually went all the way this time. Let's try it again. Where 
Where did he go? I have no idea. Oh, well there's the locker combination. Hey buddy. There's one of fours for that battery. There's no weapons in here at all. Uh, we need 104, 106, 109. Oh, yes, I can. I can discard the key. Oh! Really, dude? There's a green herb in there, really? Oh well, I'm not gonna go back and grab it. I think I'll be okay. So that means I need to go back upstairs. It looks like there's not really any, any items around here. Go save real quick. Surprised the liquor didn't come over here. It's not his jurisdiction. seconds on there? Ridiculous. Huh. It's all starting to make sense. Oh, what the hell? There was one behind me! Oh, no! Oh, my God. Uh, is that good? Alright, I need to use a flash grenade now. Ah! 
fucking hot steam. Where'd it go? Okay, that one's dead. That one's not. Probably wants me to use a grenade, but you know what? We're not going to do that. That zombie's just doing his own thing. What the hell? Dude, come on, man. Get off me. Oh, you piece of shit. Fine, I'll use the SRF. My goodness. Ah, uh, trying not to waste ammo for this thing. Thank you very much. One at a time, okay. take a number. Oh lord. You've gotta be kidding me. Yeah, fuck your arms. Ah, oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, I'm in caution. Yeah, I definitely should have used that grenade. That would have been a much smarter idea. Uh, hopefully I can just use it later. This asshole again. Hey, girl, how you doing? Just gonna... Now, can I bust this without alerting him? Let's see. Yeah, we seem to be good. So, realistically, that would make a ton of noise. So, uh, yeah, I guess I can walk without him hearing me. I kinda need you to move. Get fully out of the way. Start crawling on the walls or something. Alright. Don't touch me. I'm allergic. Come on, dude, move. I don't have ammo for you. Ugh. You're a piece of shit, you know that? If I run over this pocket. Nope, still nothing. <sighs> Alright then. You're kidding me, Carlos. You fucking suck. What was that? Wait, hit it? I actually hit him. I don't know how, but that grenade actually hit the liquor. I saw him, like, covered up with blood and such. Hey, you lost interest. Sorry if you hear noises outside, by the way. Wow. I've, I had a lucked out there. <laughs> no two ways about that. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. Really? You either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. 
I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. Uh, but we can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mikhail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, well, see if I can trace Mikhail's the Kyle's kind of dead. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Yes, sir. Again, I'm. I apologize if you can hear like noise outside. Uh, <laughs> my uh, dad is doing stuff outside. Not quite sure what he's doing though. I'm being honest. Rejected. Report from the mansion incident. Oh. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation, located in the Arclay Mountains. On July 23rd, STARS Bravo Team was dispatched to Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders, when unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha Team was dispatched as well, and became entangled in the events of the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapons experiments being carried out in secret. Umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion. So, further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Okay. I have no idea what that is right there. Oh, it's a little pencil holder. Is that Jill in the front row? Is? I can't... Oh! Oh, okay. The, the fourth on the, on the first row. Fourth to the right. Okay, and I think that's Wesker on the top left. Like, the, the second top left. Can't see Chris, though. Maybe it's Nick. I think he's next to Jill. Hmm. Okay. I think he'd be able to, like, zoom in on it or something. Jesus Christ. Sweet. Okay. And nothing's in here except for this. All right, just some ammo. A new gun for Carlos, I guess. Uh, let's check up here. Crusade spray. Okay, go to storage. Uh, I'll go ahead and store these two. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's all the thing for the card. So we gotta go back to the hall. Yo, yeah, what's up? Hmm? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. Step number 29th. 4.43 a.m. Star's office. The Carlos Express. Leave the RPD. Is 
several minutes earlier. And I really hope that uh, all that noise is not popping up in the audio. If it is, again, I, am po I apologize. Went away above ground. CS new weaponry notice. Good news, lip dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to push that brass back in your sacks. They called Mine Rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D, and they will light your fires even hotter than the lower you left back home, or the, the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. Alright, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Especially the pistol. Fire them at walls or on the ground. And they'll stay right where you put them. Sensors in the mines will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they are within range. So, basically, just toss them in the enemy's path. You'll get yourself a landmine. No such thing is unfair when you're talking about those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Alright. Awesome. So, uh... I think at this point, it's probably best for me to uh, end the stream here. Uh, I might try to continue later today, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But anyways, see you next time. Later.